Hi guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of the Walmart this morning about to head in here and check out some deals. I'm going to walk you through the deals in the store plus I'll have a printable list below the video so you can print that out, take it to the store with you and it's going to help make your shopping trip super easy. So the sun is shining so bright this morning. I'm trying to like get closer to the camera <laughs> so there's not a big glare on my face um, but it's supposed to be kind of nice today so that's a that's a plus well I'm gonna be working on and I bought a bonus today I'm working on my midweek bonus and that one is 15 offers for five dollars so definitely let me know in the comments below if you're working on a bonus what are you working on and if you're completely new to my channel welcome thank you so much for being here and if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones. Well, I hope that you guys had a good Valentine's Day. Um, my husband and I, we didn't do anything yesterday, but we did do something over the weekend. So that was kind of fun. Ate at a restaurant that we haven't gone to before. We don't go out super often. So uh, it was kind of fun to dress up and go out and all of that. So definitely um, hope that you guys had a good Valentine's Day too. Now, you know how I am with my shirt. So got a new one to show you guys today. <laughs> So I got this one over at um, United Monogram over on Instagram. And <laughs> so if you like the movie Mean Girls, then you'll get the reference. But it says, get in losers, we're going shopping. <laughs> I thought that was so funny because it has Barbie on it. And, um, you know, we're always shopping around here. So <laughs> that um, cracked me up. I was like, I'm getting that. So anyways, let's go ahead. Let's head in the store, check out the deals and see what all we can pick up and then we'll go over the receipt once we get back to the house. So the first deal we're looking at is the Colgate Kids Cavity Protection Toothpaste for 94 cents. You can submit this to the coupons.com app for $2 back. It'll make it free and a 106 money maker. Next, we're going to grab this FDS Intimate Body Spray. This right here is $2.66 here at my store. And I have two different Ibotta rebates attaching to this. So if you scan this in the store and both are attaching, it'll make this just $0.33 cents for you. Next up, we're gonna get a deal on these new Chic Bamboo Razors. These are $5.96 here at my store. We have two Ibotta rebates attached into this one as well. We have a $2 and a $3. So it's gonna make our final cost just 96 cents. So not too bad if you wanna try out these razors. Next up, we have the Men's Big Flex 3 Razor, and these are $3.97. We have $3 back on Ibotta, so it makes it just $0.97. Cents. Super easy deal, so I'm going to go ahead and pick these up as well. Next, I'm going to grab this Dove Lotion right here. So the Dove Body Love Lotion, I'm going to use a dollar coupon. This is from the Unilever emails. It says any one Dove product. So we're going to also get back a dollar on Ibotta and 650 kicks on Shopkick, which is $2.60 back. So it'll make this $1.88. So not too bad if you want to go ahead and try this lotion. So no deal on the Irish Spring or anything, but have you guys noticed they changed up the bottles? I don't know. They're trying to make them look more fancy, but it is more appealing in this bottle, I think. So maybe we'll get a deal sometime soon on some Irish Spring at one of the stores. Next, we're going to grab this easy freebie on the KY Jelly. We're going to use this $3 off any KY item, and it makes it completely free. So that was a printable coupon. I don't think it's still available, but if you did print it, you can go ahead and grab it. Next up, if you want some clearance candy, check on all of the Valentine candy. So they're 50% off right now. They will go lower. But these Ghirardelli squares, they're on sale for $2.97. We have a $1 I bought a rebate. So it's going to make this large bag of the assorted chocolates only $1.97 each. Next, if you want to grab the coffee Coca-Cola, so this store only has the vanilla and the caramel. If your store has mocha, you can do this. I bought a rebate. It's only for the mocha one, unfortunately, but it makes it completely free if you can find it. Next up, we're going to grab some Persil detergent. So this is $4.94. We can get $2 back on the coupons.com app and 50 cents back on Ibotta. So it makes it 244 so that's not too bad for Brazil. 
Next, we're gonna do a Nabisco deal. So we're gonna grab some Triscuit crackers. We are also gonna go ahead and pick up some of the Ritz toasted chips. These are $3.28. We're gonna go ahead and look at a scenario for these. So with these two right here, we are gonna use a dollar Peely coupon. Check around at your store. I found this on some of the Nabisco products. There's a ton of them all over the place. If you can find one of these, go ahead and use it. Then we're gonna to submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on each one of these, plus submit to Checkout 51 for a dollar back when you buy two Nabisco products. Overall, it's gonna make our final cost $2.26 for both of these, when it normally would be almost $7 for these two products. So it's definitely a pretty good bit of savings. I'm going to go ahead and pick them up. Next, we can grab some Lipton green tea or black tea for $2.24. I have this $1 Lipton coupon from the Unilever emails. And then I'm also submitting for $0.75 cents back on Ibotta. It's going to make our final cost just $0.49 cents for this box of tea. Next up, I'm going to grab these little seafood snackers for $1. So I saw this deal from Ohio Valley Couponer. So shout out to him for posting this. We get $1 back on any Alaskan seafood. And apparently this has Alaskan um, seafood in it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. We're going to submit for this and it'll make it completely free with that I bought a rebate. Next up, we're gonna pick up the Sara Lee Delightful Bread. It's $2.68, we get $1.25 back on Ibotta, so it makes your final cost just $1.43. You can get the white bread, the wheat bread, multigrain, any of those qualify. All right, guys, so I think this is everything I'm gonna pick up this week. We're gonna head over to self-checkout and then we'll go over the receipt once we get back to the house and talk final costs for all of our items. All right, guys, so here's our total before any coupons. We're at $46.96. I'm gonna go ahead and scan in my coupons. I only have like four coupons um, that we're using today, so not a lot. I am gonna save those Unilever um, coupons for last, just in case. So we'll go ahead and do this one. So that scan just fine. The Nabisco one normally scans fine, it did. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the Lipton and the Dove. Okay, so that one rejected. I'm gonna try this one, rejected. All right, so that's the message. All right, guys, so she did manually enter those. All right, guys, so we are back in the car from Walmart. The transaction went pretty well. Only had two coupon beeps, which I did save those coupons for last because I had a feeling that they may. So it was the Any Dove coupon and the Any Lipton coupon. Those were both from Unilever emails. For some reason, sometimes those beep here at Walmart. Not sure why, but she did come over and manually enter those. I will say that I have never had so many people ask me in Walmart if they could help me today, but I was like, there's something going on. There's way more employees than I've seen in one spot ever. So um, the cashier that came over to help, she was a cashier that I see a lot in here. So I was like, is corporate here today or something? And she was like, yeah. She was like, oh my gosh, you should see the looks on everybody's faces. Cause I was like, yeah, they, they came up to me right as I'm coming to self checkout and they're like, oh, so-and-so can help you on register, blah, blah, blah. But it was one of the self checkout registers. And then, so I go, I'm like, okay, thanks. I go over to the self checkout and then a girl comes over and she's like, can I help you with anything today? Do you need help scanning your product? You know? And I'm like, I know they're trying to be nice, but also like corporates there like making them say and do that stuff. So it was just like so awkward. I was like, no, I'm okay, thank you. I'm like, I just wanna scan my stuff in peace. <laughs> but yeah, they were like hovering everywhere. Just, you know, it is what it is, but it was just, yeah, it was weird. I felt like like everybody staring at me and then I'm like doing my, um, <laughs> I'm doing my scanning and everything and another lady comes over and asks me about my reusable bags and stuff. So I don't know if they do that to make small talk with you to make sure you're scanning all your items. I don't really know, but yeah, so that was interesting, but we're about to head back to the house, look over this receipt and talk final cost. Hopefully you got a pretty good deal on all of these items today. All right guys, so we are back home and this is my Ibotta haul for this week. We're about to go over the receipt and talk final costs, but before we get to the receipt, I do wanna tell you guys about two things that did not work out. So um, just to give you a heads up and I'm gonna subtract these items off my receipt. So when I scanned in my receipt, it did not pick up 
the seafood that was for the $1 back on any Alaskan seafood, even though when I scanned this item in the store, it did match for the rebate. And then also I scanned this item. I think this and the bread was the last two things that I bought. So I submitted my receipt right after I got done. It said that that rebate was good for another day and then it was not showing it at all. So I did submit to Ibotta. Um, I sent them a thing showing, you know, what I got basically and telling them that it said $1 back on any size, any variety, but it did not give me the dollar back. So hopefully they'll credit me, but I'm going to subtract it off my receipt just in case they don't. Um, and then on the Colgate Kids, I think I misread the rebate on the coupons.com app because it was saying two like coupons, one per purchase. So... On a regular coupon, that would mean that you could go ahead and get two, but it only gave me credit back for one. So I'm thinking that if that rebate resets, I may be able to submit this one the next day. And then that way I can get the $2 back on this one. But because it did not give it back on this, um, when I scanned in my receipt, I'm going to go ahead and subtract these two items from my total. So that's going to be $1.94 less than what it shows on my receipt. So just a heads up on that, but it did give me credit on the one. So let's go ahead. Let's look at this receipt. Talk final cost. You can see right here, um, all of the items, all the coupons are going to show up underneath the item unless we had a coupon beep. So the two $1 coupons you see at the very top, that was for the Dove and the Lipton because both of those did beep and she had to manually enter them. Everything else, you can see the coupon under each item. So our total was $40.96. I did go ahead and pay with my PayPal debit card with that. And when you subtract those other two items that we just talked about, it would be like our total was $39.02. Now, when I had submitted over to Ibotta, on Ibotta, we got back a total of $17.83 just for the rebates alone. And then we got the $5 bonus for the midweek moneymaker bonus. So that was really awesome. Then submitted over to the coupons.com app, got $4 back there. And that was $2 for the Colgate and $2 for the Persil. On checkout 51, I submitted for a dollar back when you buy two Nabisco products. So that gave us a dollar back for buying the Ritz crackers and the Triscuit. So then we submitted over to Shopkick where we got back 650 kicks and that was $2.60. So that was for the Dove lotion right here. So overall, everything that you see right here, 13 items, ended up being a final cost of $8.59. That puts them at about $0.66 cents an item, but I'm okay with that. I don't feel too bad about it because half of that total today was the Ghirardelli chocolate that I picked up, but I really wanted to get those. And I mean, honestly, I think that that was a really good deal um, because these are normally about $5.97 a bag. So, depending on what you pick up, your totals will vary, but if we do end up getting credit for both of these items, the $2 and the $1 there, and we add those back into our total, our final cost would be $7.53 for everything, including those if we get the credit. But overall, I would say $8 for all of this is not bad. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you're going to pick up any of the same deals. What deal is your favorite this week? And don't forget that I always have a printable list below the video. So you can print that out, take it to the store with you, and it's going to help make your shopping trip super easy. I also want to let you guys know I did post a CVS video yesterday. And in that video, I'm doing a $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. So Flues sponsored that video and Flues, if you haven't used it, it's a cashback app. It's really awesome, super easy to use. And you can sign up on my code with Flues and enter to win that $100 Amazon gift card. So definitely check out that CVS video. And if you're a Walgreens shopper, of course, I posted my Walgreens haul on Sunday. But other than that, I think that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.